What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of V4 Attack on Titan, the final season. This is episode 16, uh, the final episode for at least this part of the season. And with me, as always, I have mm-hmm. Blue It sucks that we literally have to wait an, almost an entire year just to see the next part. I mean, I kind of expected it. Yeah. I mean, the ma- the manga is officially going to be ending by probably by next month. And uh, and Mappa obviously needs the time to you know ad- adapt the remaining parts of the story assuming if part two is going to be the final part or maybe there might be a part three who knows but it yeah i'm not too sure like uh i i don't it depends on how many chapters um are actually left in the manga um because as of this episode i think it ends on chapter 116 and uh as far as i know i think there are a little over like 130 some chapters uh, in the manga right now, I could be wrong on that, um, but I think that's how much further they need yeah. to go. Um, now that could be like a whole another season, and the season could be possibly longer, or they could do another season around the same length as this one, and then maybe edit off with the movie or something It'll, like that. My, my, um, but it's too early to release. It, hey, it's likely you know. that they'll have a, another, like some odd, you know, number, you know, of extended amount of episodes just like this one because nor- normally, like, because, like, you know, we got, um, we, we got, you know, the start of this season, like, in the middle of, like, uh, of the previous anime season. So it, it, it wouldn't be unusual if they decided to add in, like, maybe another 16 or hell, maybe, maybe make over 20 episodes for the next part if they're willing to. Yeah, it's possible. Like that that's the thing. It's really the amount of episodes that's uh that would I would think it would determine whether or not they're going to adapt the rest mm-hmm. of the story. Yeah. Well, for this episode, like it it it's a good episode, but like, you know, the unfortunate part is that the uh, this is the last episode of this core and we're still left with a lot of questions of what's, you know, of what's happened and what's possibly going to happen um for, you know, for the mm-hmm next part that we have to wait until like uh, winter 2022 yeah the episode ends on a pretty huge cliffhanger so uh, yeah we're gonna have to just uh, wait and unfortunately yeah wait till next year but like we've been saying I, I I really think Mappa needs to take as much time as possible to properly and uh, you know animate attack on Titan as well as just adapt the rest of the story um, because that was what people have really been complaining about about the season is just all the CG Titans uh, now, hopefully, if they take enough time for the next part of the season, we, we could see some actually, you know, but not that this season looks bad at all. It, do- it doesn't, but um, I feel like they could, they definitely have potential to do a lot, a lot better. And I really think they need in as much time as possible to, you know, uh, bring out that yeah, potential. Yeah, assuming it- <laughs> um, Because we've seen that with, like I've mentioned before, we've seen it with Jujutsu Kaisen, and I really hope that they kind of bring that level of effort to, uh, uh, to the next part of yeah. Attack on Titan. It, it looked like, you know, there was some level of, like, you know, quality animation in some, some episodes. Yeah, this episode was probably one, one of the best-looking ones, mm-hmm. I think. Um, however, there's not really a lot of action. It's mostly, like, I would say it's mostly at the tail end of the episode where we, uh, you know, see the most of uh, detailed animation with the, uh, with the yeah. Titans. Uh, no CG Titans that I've noticed. I think it was kind of CG-ish in a couple of seasons. It could yeah. have been, but it, but it was... It wasn't very noticeable though, because I didn't really. I would. I could barely. Yeah. Um, well. Uh, so okay. So well, the episode picks up immediately after that. <laughs> that you know, crazy cliffhanger from last week uh, when we saw Zeke uh, intentionally blow himself in, up in front of Levi, and then, um, we see Hanji uh, leading Flock and the other Jaegerist to Zeke's location. But of course, they hear the the sound of the thunder spear going off, and then. Uh, we, of course, they're going to head to that location to find out what's happened. But of course, um, we find out that Zeke's like pretty much, you know, the only part left of him is his like his upper half of his body still alive somehow. And then you know, we see like a, a pure female Titan just walk up to him and then just like literally rip open her stomach, then pl- places Zeke inside, which is, which is like really weird. I mean, honestly, I almost thought he was, you know, that thing was going to eat him, but. Uh, but it made sense because it was one of the titans that Zeke ended up transforming. Yeah. Um, so I guess that Zeke probably will be regenerating within the, <laughs> within the pure titan stomach yeah. or something. 
Um, that's most likely what's happening with him. Uh, but that's unfortunately the last we see of Zeke. And um, uh, until and, and unfortunately, and then, we don't yeah. even find out what happened to Levi, whether or not he was, you know. Yeah, that's the biggest thing too. We don't know what we don't really know what kind of state Levi's in. I I really kind of expect Levi to survive, to be honest, considering he's he he is pretty ma he's a major character. But I mean, character important characters have died before that I honestly didn't expect to die in the show. So who knows? Yeah. Um, but we'll just unfortunately we're kind of left hanging on that. We don't know what's going what happened with. Yeah, the boy. there was one thing I want to point out. This like Zeke ends up seeing like a vision of some kind of blonde haired girl. Uh, before the end of this scene, <laughs> I wonder who that uh, could be. My guess it's probably Ymir that they keep um, hyping up. The you know the entire the okay yeah you're, it, yeah it, it, you, it's you it's probably right, it's yeah. probably the most obvious thing. I uh, unless we we've seen we've seen her already. Like we we do we know what she looks like. So yeah that that's we already know. Yeah, that's her. I mean like uh, the the what was it that little short preview of the next season just kind of made that obvious, but. Um, but yeah, mm. so we go we go back to you know, um, pretty much uh, what was it? I think it was Pixis and Yelena talking to each other, and then yeah. they uh, they brand the majority of like um, uh, of the soldiers with like these arm like different colored armbands. Like one like one group is like um, you know a Yerist, uh, the other group is um, like are the ones like that consumed Zeke's uh, spinal fluid through the wine and stuff and and pretty much like uh, y Yelena explaining like you know her plans of like well pretty much Zeke's plan of trying to euthanize the Eldian population yeah um and uh the other thing about the armbands too is that of course Pixis points out the hypocrisy or you know the irony and uh, them using armbands to identify people, um, pretty much how the Marlians used armbands for the Eldians to identify who was an Eldian. Uh, an mm -hmm. Eldian. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like uh, Yelena, yeah, Yelena explains that the euthanization plan. Um, uh, apparently, the euthanization plan is that, uh, of course, as as we know, as far as I understand it, that they. Uh, Zeke Zeke wants the wants it so that the Eldians that basically they can no longer reproduce so that their race will die out that way. Um, uh, the the only I I guess like I think it's the only person who can reproduce would Historia. be uh, Historia so that she creates like the founding Titan or something. Um, but all the other Eldians would not be able to have yeah. children. Uh, Yelena also explains this uh, more in detail in front of the other Survey Corps members, uh, like uh, Ar Armin, Mikasa, and everyone else. And they, and plus, uh, you know, not only the euthanization thing, but but they also also still plan on doing the rumbling to keep um, keep them safe from the other countries going to attack Paradise Island. Yeah, um, and before this too, like we do. We do see, that, you know, of course, that all the scouts have been locked up, um, along with Sasha's family. Yeah. Too. Um, and uh, I think uh, Connie asks Armin, like, what happened, like, uh, with him and Aaron, and that he has to explain that, like, that um, he he got beat up by Aaron because he was trying to defend, or you know, because of what he said to M uh, Mikasa. And um, we also noticed too, like, that Mikasa is actually no longer wearing the scarf. Um, so, I, I I have to wonder if maybe she's her feelings about Aaron are maybe she's feeling much more conflicted at this mm -hmm. point. So that's why she's no longer. Wearing I, I mean, I'm I'm not. Um, I'm also deb many people are debating of like of what Aaron you know truly did you know that uh, what, you know that in that in that episode during his confrontation with you know both Aaron, with uh, Armin and Mystica like whether he really meant what he uh, said, but. Yeah, well, John is actually the one the uh, the character that that says like, what if, what if Aaron like there's something else to what he's doing or you know like he uh, he he's the one that really kind of questions it. Um, uh, but Connie is is one of the people who just seems to be you know the, to be the most against Aaron. Like he 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 really just doesn't uh, you know he he's the most uh, hostile towards yeah. the teams. But th there's also another thing that I want to point out is like uh, like going back to the flashbacks, like uh, like 
uh, remember that scene when uh, like with everyone like working on the railway and then you know and like um, Aaron t- and is discussing with the group of who needs to uh, become the net you know, pretty, pretty much possess his like his attack titan of course he yeah. but of course he rejects that idea because he tells them he, that everyone around him like you know is you know a person he really cares about and he wants them to live uh, long lives so it pretty much contradicts like you know the actions of what he just did to you know to armin and mika uh, like in in one of the previous episodes he, it, it would make me think that he just he's just intentionally doing that to you know the, to keep them away from what he's about to do yeah i i just have a feeling that aaron um aaron, th- there is definitely more to what he's doing um it's not as straightforward as it might seem um, I, I think it's it's more like he's uh, he's making himself into the villain for reasons that we don't yet understand. Um, in, in a way, I, I you know I think a lot of people would draw the comparison to you know like Lelouch, how he has to turn into a demon, uh, and you know he has this grand plan essentially. Uh, I, I think it's pretty similar to what's going probably going on mm-hmm. with Aaron. And there, there's also the fact of whether or not Aaron is willing to go along with um, Zeke's euthanization plan. I mean, Yelena claims that Aaron... Is- I feel like Zeke's being played. Like, I, I, I think... I, I really feel like uh, Aaron is, is just using Zeke, uh, but Zeke doesn't seem to realize mm-hmm. it. Um, I, I, I don't get the impression that they're necessarily both on the same mm-hmm. page. Yeah, because we, we don't really see either Zeke or Aaron like really interact all that much and or whether or not they really agree with each other's plans I mean um, well Aaron was trying to find Zeke earlier on but um, yeah like Zeke <laughs> that's kind of not really happening in this uh, th- th- that hasn't really happened yet so uh, they haven't really met up with each other uh, ever since uh, they talked with each other back you know back uh, back in mm-hmm. Harley um yeah. Uh, it's like so, one odd part of that you know, conversation with uh, Elena is that Ar- Armin just like starts breaking down crying oh, like yeah. supposedly agreeing with Elena's plan but I don't really buy that <laughs> to be honest I yeah a lot of people are saying Armin was uh, w- w- is it was essentially tr- like messing with her he- he's up to something I, I, but I'm not really I don't know maybe he's trying to gain Elena's trust uh, is, is what I think is he's, he's basically putting on an act um, and possibly trying to gain Yelena's trust and get close to her, um, so maybe he can betray her. Or I, something. Don't know. I mean, um, Yelena seems like you know accepting of like, but she seemed to have bought it, she, like the ba- the way she yeah, reacts to it. I, I mean, uh, no other. Reg- I don't think anyone else, you know, with Armin like really bought it. <laughs> it's it's weird that Yelena, you know, is yeah. you know just strangely bought you know bought Aaron's and no, then not Aaron uh, Armin's like a little. You know a little act right there but it, it, you know they don't really pick up that you know mm-hmm. that scene after that and so we we go back to um, well bef- before this too like when when Delena first shows up to talk to them uh one of the um one of the cooks that worked with um nicolo who's named grease uh he he shows up and he's um uh he apparently just uh really did not uh care for her. Uh, you know Nicolo's love of uh, love for Sasha. You know, like because he's um, he he's pretty much loyal. To, was loyal to Marley the whole time, and was I guess just waiting for the opportunity to you know stab all the aliens in the pack. Um, so you know when Nicolo finds out about how much Reese really hated Sasha, that sets him off. Um, but you know, uh, Yelena once she hears all the like, she just no hesitation just shoots him in the head. Like you know, when Grease starts going off about uh, about Sasha, and uh, and she's just like, I apologize for his disrespect, essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we just see how just how scary Elena can be. Uh, she, I mean, we we did hear, of course, from Onyakapo in that one episode about how uh, she will, you know, she'll pretty much shoot anybody or you know kill anybody who she suspects of being mm-hmm. a traitor or not completely following along with the plan. Yeah, and I, I was also surprised that uh, Onya Pon has also, like, joined up with Yelena, too. I mean, unless if he's doing that out of, you know, the safety of his own life, or, like, you know, he's... Just... According to him, it's because they put him under a house uh-huh. arrest. Uh, so, because they suspected him, uh-huh. I guess. Um, but, I mean, I, I just wonder if that's really enough of a reason for him to want to just betray them. Yeah, I think there's more to what 
own you components are like really gonna end up doing uh, later down on the road. I mean, it's I mean he technically yeah. like you know he's not really a Marleyan. He's like you know his people were like uh, were conquered by you know by the Marleans like prior to this. So like I think he has like his reasons of what what he's doing right now. So it's. I, it's like, I think it's possible he might play a role in helping out the uh, the other survey member cores, but you know, well, we'll have to find out and I, until the season comes back. But, um, but of course, like the um, the fi- final act comes uh, with Aaron meeting up with with Gabby, pretty much uh, asking asking Gabby to work with Aaron or help him out with something. But then all of a sudden they're interrupted by Peak. Uh, Pretty much, you know, she just pops out of nowhere and just kills the guard um, next to Aaron. And of course, she she holds Aaron at gunpoint and asks uh, Gabby to do the same. But however, Aaron just like pretty much calls out uh, Pig's bluff, saying that you can't kill me because I am, you know, I have the founding titan, and it'll be bad for your like you know superiors if they find out that you killed me. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Aaron was pretty confident that Peek isn't actually going to do anything. And, uh, yeah, he pretty much calls her bluff because she, of course, relents and, you know, takes the gun away from him and says, you know, I, um, it basically says that, uh, decides to surrender to him and says, yeah, I'll, I'll join you and explains her reasoning is because, um, she, or the reason why she's even loyal to Marley is because she needs to get, like, her, her apparently her father is ill and uh she she needs to like you know she, she needs to get him proper medication or something yeah. like that and the only way she can do that is to I, I guess be one of the warriors um uh but she she says that she doesn't disagree I guess with what Aaron's trying to do um and this of course shocks Gabby because you know Gabby full was actually expecting that uh Peak was still loyal and uh, Peek explains to Gabby that eventually the Marleans are going to, uh, you know, d- that they're just going to kill the Eldians when they're no longer useful to them. Um, and, uh, you know, G- Gabby just doesn't know what to think at this point because uh, probably just because of all the brainwashing yeah. she's been through, she just doesn't yeah, really I mean, understand the nuance of I the mean, situation. Yeah, I mean, Pe- Peek is like, you know, is another person that calls out, like, um, Gabby's beliefs and like you know and wanting to become an, an honorary honorary alien and her. I mean, I do like how Gabby is just constantly being challenged, but it it almost seems like she it, and I mean it kind of seems like she's she understands at some points, but it, it's also like I don't know. She's just she's still so set in her own beliefs that it almost seems like it doesn't really go yeah. through to her. I mean, no, no uh, matter. So I don't know if this is ever going to lead to any real character development with Gabby where she's actually going to see things from their point of view uh, or if she's just going to stay the same throughout like, the I mean, rest Pe- of the series. I mean, Peek is a good example because, like, G- Gabby is, like, you know, vying to become what, you know, what Peek is right now. But, you know, Pe- Peek, yeah. like, you know, makes some good points of, like, why she became, like, a warrior titan in the first place, why she became an honorary alien just because she needed to get medical treatment for her father. And then... Her worry is that you know once she once Peak is like um, no longer around, who's gonna take care of her father afterwards? So, so like she right. she's trying to like you know find a way to you know have the alien people like you know live a more prosperous life uh, without the Marleans like you know like you know like ruling over them every single time. So she, yeah, I mean Peak at least presents a um, an understandable reason for why she would. Uh, she would join Aaron, but at the same time, it, it's hard to believe that Peek would uh, would t- go to the trouble of infiltrating, um, you know, Paradis and and trying to rescue Gabby and all that just to just to become like a turncoat. Um, so it, it's just like at the same time, you have to wonder uh, if Peek is is actually telling the yeah. truth. Yeah. Um, and of course, Aaron doesn't fully believe her either. Um, so he. He basically says, um, I don't know if this, if this is where he's, he says that he's, you know, how he intends to use Peek, that, uh, he, he wants, I think it's like he wants her to point out where the enemies are. No, I think, I think it was Peek who suggested Uh, that, that, it was Peek who suggested that, you know, she'll like point out where all of her comrades are. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course they, they all go, uh, up to the rooftop 
to and have like an Aaron uh, have peek um, you know, point out to where everyone else is. But. Yeah, and and Aaron handcuffs both Gabby and Peek together, apparently because if uh, pretty much just to ensure that Peek doesn't transform into the Car Titan, because as if Peek transforms into the Car Titan with but while handcuffed to Gabby, she would potentially, I guess, kill mm-hmm. Gabby. Uh, so she can't do that. Yeah, and um, and then of course uh, they get to the rooftop, and then uh, Aaron asks, "Well, what? okay, so." Uh, before this happens, too, I have to point out, um, the, 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 there is a, a shot where we see all the other the other scouts and uh, Gabby, like, or not Gabby, but uh, P- uh, Peak Ways to them, and uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty obvious. Like, I, I don't know if you noticed, but but uh, Gallier, yeah, the I, I noticed, I noticed uh, that too. He's one of the, yeah. yeah, and and <laughs> I mean, you know, that I mean, that's one like uh, what was it? Peak like waved high to all all the other like. Um, Scouts and the soldiers there. You know, I like how all the scouts are just immediately <laughs> her, like they're. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you know, she she did you know the exact same thing with the other modeling and soldiers. Um, you know, during, uh, I think earlier on in the season, but yeah, so they yeah. do end up going to, into the rooftop, and um, of course, in, instead of like, uh, well, actually, technically, she did um, point out to where uh, one of her comrades are, and that was like literally right underneath Aaron. Well, yeah, but I, I like how the scene is set up too, because you know, I mean, before well, before this happens too, like she, um, was, yeah, I guess Gabby realizes that uh, Peak was uh, was kind of uh, you know not necessarily telling the whole truth uh, when when she decided you know quote unquote to join Heron, uh because she grasps like Gabby's hand tightly and like smiles, I guess, as an indication that um, she you know she's still there to rescue mm-hmm. Gabby and that she's. Uh, uh, yeah, that was kind of like her way of getting to getting to Gabby. Um, but uh, yeah, she, you know, Aaron's like, you know, w- point out where the enemy is, and she turns around and points to uh, to Aaron. And you know, like as you said, that is like it, it kind of like it's it's more like yeah, she she was pointing to where uh, where one of her comrades was at the time, but she was also pointing like i guess it's kind of you could see it two ways like she's pointing to aaron as being the enemy but she's also pointing to i guess one of her comrades because that does end up being where uh where they are because as in the next in the very next scene galliard as the jaw titan comes up and like bites off half of uh, you know bites off aaron's legs basically like uh just bites him in half um doesn't end up killing him though because aaron gets out of the way and yeah and then of course he ends up transforming into his titan form and that's where we see like all the Marleyan airships descending on, uh, you know, on Parody Island. So, and, and of course, uh, Reiner is uh, inside one of the uh, inside the aircrafts, and pretty much that's where the episode uh, leaves off until we have to wait until like winter of twenty twenty two to find out what's going to happen. Yeah, we're getting another rematch with the Armor Titan versus the Attack Titan. I I, I wonder who's gonna win this I, time. I mean, it's always it's always Reiner getting his ass kicked. So I mean, I mean it's not really gonna I mean, be much. He of a didn't get he didn't guy. always get his you know ass kicked most most of the time. He just like you know he had. I guess you could say that. I guess you could say the one time that I, I think he he didn't was uh, that one time in season two. I guess when they start when they mm-hmm. fought, um, but that was mostly because he had the help of uh, Colossal Titan. Yeah, too, uh, that's so. true. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it was it was a pretty pretty good episode. I mean, like it was more of a build up episode towards uh, uh, towards part two, which kind of sucks. Like I said again, with you know with us having to wait like literally almost an entire year to see uh, the remainder of this. It, it felt like the cliffhanger before the beginning of like another story arc. Basically. Yeah, like I guess this one being the in- invasion of like Paris. Yeah, I mean, if you if you thought like you know the last, I mean you know the last cliffhanger uh, was. E- even crazier as you know as we, we don't even know what's ha- uh, what's happened to levi uh, after levi intentionally no not mm-hmm. levi after uh zeke intentionally got himself blown up yeah and i mean it's it's actually even worse because like we're just gonna have to wait a year to find out what's gonna happen after this but like i said i don't really mind because i i definitely think that studio mappa needs all the time they can get yeah, they. I mean, uh, hopefully, if, like uh, they're they're not bogged down with too many other projects. That's the only thing I'm concerned about is that they're they take on too many projects. Um, because that's usually what what kind of kills. Like you know that that's what contributes to production issues and 
with animation studios is they have like too many projects they're taking on. Um, and as we as we know, one of, one of the projects I know that Mop is going to be doing is, you know, is uh, Chainsaw Man, which is coming up. I forget exactly when, but they're doing Chainsaw the Chainsaw Man anime. Um, and they're also doing more stuff with Jujutsu Kaisen, such as the the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie, and probably even a season two whenever that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, that that's as far as we know. That's what they're do what else they're doing. Um, but I just hope that they're like I said. I hope they they're given plenty of time for the next part of the season, um, because I I just I want to see Mappa just at their full potential for the next part because. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of stuff. I mean, like, especially considering what I... The stuff that I kind of... Like, some of the things I know is going to happen later. Uh, they're definitely going to have to, like... Um, you know, there, there's going to be, like, a lot of stuff going on. Like, and so they're, the animation budget's going to have to be pretty high. And uh, they're just going to have to put a lot more effort into the animation in general in this mm -hmm. part. Uh, in the next part. Because of all the stuff that I... You know, from what I've seen happens later in the manga. Um, yeah, like... Fortunately, a lot of this season has been fairly dialogue heavy. There had there there have been action scenes, but there's been a lot of dialogue heavy episodes too. So I think Mappa kind of got lucky because they, you know, aside from like the beginning of season four, there hasn't been like a ton of, you know, really like a ton of action going on. So, I mean, it's this the story's like season four has really got by based on how good the story and the characters mm -hmm. have been. Um. I mean, not to say that, it, again, not to say it looks bad. I think it looks great. I actually like the new art style, but um, I just feel like it, it definitely feels like a show where I could tell that they probably needed more time uh, before putting this in. Yeah, up. considering um, the fact that so. Studio Wit uh, gave up on, you know, after season three and then moved it on to Studio Mappa mm -hmm. at the last, I don't know if it was the last minute or something like that, but... I do think it was it was must have been short notice or something because it, like based on what I've heard about the production issues, it sounds like they they weren't necessarily fully prepared to uh, to do this season, I guess. But um, it is commendable if that is the case that they were able to put out something that is that was this good with uh, you know if, if they were not as prepared as we might imagine they possibly were, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully that's not the case for the next part, and they they're you know they're, they don't have as much on their plate and they just put much more effort into it um but yeah uh i i think like for at least for the first part of the of the final season i guess you would say is what this is um i i thought it was pretty decent like i didn't really have that many problems with it um i i, I guess you know if i were to rate it i would say this is either an eight or a nine uh probably an eight i would say yeah eight to me um, yeah, this I, I would agree uh, with that because, I mean, you know, so, a few downsides were like the overuse of CGI during the Titan scenes. I mean, yeah. and then <clears throat> it's definitely most prevalent in the first part of the of the season with the attack on yeah. Broadway. I, I mean, the rest of the season is not as bad. But, I, I mean, yeah, when it I mean, this up, season alone do, does have like you know a, a lot of big highlights, like including. You know, Sasha getting yeah. killed, um, the confrontation, that tense conversation between um, Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin uh, in what was it, episode fourteen? Was it or was it? I think yeah, it was. Yeah, I think it was. It was yeah, and years. also like you know, Aaron's like trans, you know, character development, like his like huge character shift, like from what he was in previous seasons is, uh, into what he is like right now. Yeah. Um. Uh, I guess the only kind of, uh, I guess you'd say is somewhat of a negative in regards to that too, is that um, the story does shift between like the present day and then some, like you know, at some points in the season it does shift a lot between present day and then you know flashback sequences, and at a certain point in the season there are quite a few different flashback sequences, so it does get kind of confusing um, when you watch it because it'll shift in between. Yeah. Those. Um, and it's really just kind of trying to explain why you know sort of the context for why Car or, uh, Aaron became this character. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, is a, is, it is it does feel a little bit messy because it has to, you know, go in between the past and the present to uh, try to explain why certain things, you know, why, you know, Aaron in particular is acting the way he is, mm -hmm. or, or at least somewhat try to explain. Yeah. And, and of, of course, like, you know, the, the beginning of the season, like, was a complete shift, like, by, you know, shifting us away from the characters of... Uh, 
you know, Paradise Island. Oh, too. yeah, that too. Yeah, but... Yeah, and it, it has to introduce these new characters, and we, you know, it, it is a little bit jarring because we don't see things from, you know, the, the main cast's perspective. It's it's the these new characters. But if you take into account the way, you know, Season 3 ends, it makes sense that now they're focusing on this new cast of characters um, and in, in this other place because, you know, with the way Season 3 ended, we we got introduced to this new uh, this new part of the world we had no idea about before, and now we're learning more about it in, in the beginning of this mm-hmm. season. Yeah, but you know, but o- overall, this season, like you know, ha- uh, has um, it, you know, it is it's pretty well done in my opinion. I mean, there were you know, like I said, it's there are several hiccups on like um, some of the animation style, like the overuse of CG, like particularly on that one episode. I think it was this episode. Uh, six where it, it was just not just the Titans, but majority of like the Survey Corps. Is it the Warhammer Titan? Episode? Yeah, the Warhammer Titan episode. Like you know, it's just not the Titans, but uh, also like you know, a lot of. Oh yeah, the scouts, yeah, the scouts yeah. were like yeah. also CG as well, which is kind of weird. Like, yeah, I will say that yeah, the Titans are one thing, but the scouts being CG was the more like off-putting part of the episode to me. Not necessarily like bad or anything, but yeah, you, I, I really didn't like that they decided to do that with the scouts. Um, I mean, it, it's it sucks because in that episode you did have a mix of like some really good sequences and animation with some stuff that you could tell was probably unfinished. Or, you know, just because of how much CG was used in that episode. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a, it's a bit of a mix of just, you know, some things in, in, I felt in, in certain episodes were pretty good, and then others were kind of like, I just, uh, it, like I said, I can see where they, it might have just been unfinished, and they probably needed more time to really animate certain parts of it. Uh, but it, it didn't really, it, it's not like unwatchable or anything like no. that. Um you know, I, I really think, I mean, if anything, I, I really think a lot of people um, within the community really overreacted with uh, how bad they were trying to say that the uh, the CG usage was in the in the season. I mean, if 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 Mappa has a chance, they could redo some of the scenes in that episode and like try to improve on it a bit, like you know. Yeah, I mean, hopefully some things are redone for the Blu-ray, but I I, I kind of don't expect them to, you know, really. Uh, go back and like reanimate like large portions of 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 certain scenes, uh, probably just because it would be too much work. Mm-hmm. Um, but some things I do expect are probably going to be somewhat different uh, when the Blu-ray comes out, because that has been the case for previous instances of Attack on Titan uh, when they came out with the Blu-ray. Uh, is that some things would actually look a little bit better? Yeah. Uh, than they did when they, as opposed to when it aired on. Yeah, the it, 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 no, it's just not just this show, but like many other like shows and movies that other things yeah i mean you usually like yeah those things will be like kind of uh cleaned up a little bit for the blu-ray release mm-hmm. um but um, yeah but yeah i i did i definitely enjoyed the season like you know i thought i thought like you know they did they did a good uh did a good job like in making this uh you know 16 episodes and you know, like show you know adapt as much as they could up to this point before the um, mm-hmm. the the series officially the manga series officially ends like uh by next month yeah, I hate to say it, but good luck trying to avoid spoilers. Yeah, right I now. mean, you know, uh, unfortunately, I think the internet's going to be full of spoilers. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the worst part about it is because, like, you know, we're we're not really going to have the anime to fall back on. We're just going to have to try to not look at the spoilers for the story. But um, yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about this episode in particular. It was a pretty good. It, it was a great place to end it. I think. Um, you know, it's it just sucks that it's such a huge cliffhanger and it's not really in any way conclusive or anything like that. Um, but I don't really think it should be. This is, you know, kind of, you know, we're, we're pretty much technically in the middle of, of uh, I guess, you know, what's kind of more like the final stretch of the, of the story. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I don't have too much else to say about it. Uh, I, I don't know if you have anything yeah, else to say. Yeah, and just give Mappa some time to you know to look up like whatever content it's left and then have them an- animated uh you know uh, for whenever it's going to come out by next year so we'll definitely be looking for that well yeah it's, it's supposedly winter 2022 um and uh hopefully it's not going to be december like it was this year where, where when it came out um hopefully it'll be kind of later on you know because uh, apparently the winter season is, is more like uh i think it's people said january february yeah uh, March, I, re- so. I remember. So either one of those. I, re- I also remember that yeah. 
you know, that this season was supposed to come out all, like a few months earlier if it wasn't for the pandemic hitting us. So I, I don't know. Maybe I mean, yeah. it's, it's still. I mean, regardless. I mean, they. I think it was October they were originally saying it was going to yeah. release. But I don't think it would have made any other difference because the manga, like, it would have like ended it off at you know the exact same point regardless. So I mean, right? Yeah, but I, I thought I thought you know they they ended it off in like you know in a proper area you know, like before they can continue on, um, you know, by next year. I mean, I pretty much predicted that it would probably take around that amount of time for them to bring back the uh, bring back the show for another season yeah um but yeah here, here's hoping that we're going to get something much much better with the next part um you know and that there's at least minimal production issues um but yeah um that all being said uh until next time we will see you all later <laughs>